Hey, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to be making some absolutely delicious sweet potato pies. Now, if you're new to this channel, hey, welcome. If you've been rolling me for a while, Focus Fam, you already know what we got to do. We got to make these pies absolutely delicious, and we're going to go ahead and get to these ingredients. Now, what we got right here, we got two sweet potatoes, right? So this is going to be, you know, a little bit over a pound, and we're going to get these peeled. So what I did was I baked these for an hour 350 degrees you can see they a little bit deflated right so all we got to do is just peel this back and you see how easy that was right there and then we just gonna peel these and then we'll be right back all right so once we got these all peeled we're gonna take a pear knife and then we just gonna remove you know anything that we didn't get while we were you know peeling them and then we're gonna make these look absolutely gorgeous the thing that i like about baking these instead of boiling them hey you don't lose any of that flavor and it stays true to its actual flavor and what you can do is you can take your knife and then you can lightly you know just run it across this potato just like that and you're gonna take that outer skin come off and this is gonna be like most of those screens that you find in those sweet potatoes right that's just a little you know trick little tip right there just lightly like i said lightly take your knife and it's gonna remove that outer skin right here, just like that and then we're gonna do that and we're gonna see you guys in a little bit all right so once we got these sweet potatoes where we want them we're just gonna cut these you know in slices and this is gonna make it easier for when we start blending these sweet potatoes now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower this down right here now you can use a hand mixer if you like i'm just using my stand mixer that's what i got and then we're gonna get this mixed up turn this on just like so and we're gonna let it do its thing all right we're gonna stop this and then we're gonna clean this off you're not gonna have much screens on here Again, like I said, if you scrape the outside of that sweet potato, that's where a lot of your strings are going to be. So that's why I like baking those potatoes instead of boiling them because you got, you know, a firmer, a little bit firmer of a texture, you know, and then you won't have so many screens in those sweet potatoes. So we're going to let this back down and then we're going to start it again. That is those screens, you know, that you want to remove from you know your sweet potato so what we're gonna do is we gonna take this attachment off and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over here rinse it out and then we're gonna let this run about three four times until we get you know a smooth consistency and little to no screens in this mixture here we're almost to that step where we like it you know, not many screens in there. But again, what I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna take just the last remaining bits and pieces out of here. And then we're gonna be in the game. And again, you can omit this stuff if you like. Just for me, I just want a smooth, you know, base for my sweet potato pie. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of flour and this is gonna give, you know, your filling some integrity you know, when you take the bite, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be fluffy, you know, airy, and it's not gonna fall apart when you take a bite of it or when you cut it. So we're gonna lower this mixing stand here, and then we're gonna let this thing mix up first with this flour. All right, once we got all that flour mixed up in there, we are gonna hit that attachment, that mixing attachment, and you know, we gotta get all that good sweet potatoes off this mixing attachment right and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients in now what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna add my melted butter into this mixture and then we're gonna give this thing a mix but we're gonna clean these sides off first i'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients i got some vanilla extract and then i got some nutmeg got some allspice, half a cup of light brown sugar, and then we got a cup of sugar. So I'm gonna hit it with some cinnamon. And that's about a tablespoon of cinnamon right there. And you can do more or less if you like cinnamon, right? Go on, let this mix. We're gonna add a pinch of salt and we're gonna taste this before we add our eggs. Mm -hmm. 
right, so we got that mix. Like I said, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, pinch of salt, and we're gonna let this mix one more time. We're gonna add a little half and half. And we're gonna give this thing another mix. So now we got to get us back for a taste test since we got everything mixed in. And here we go. Cheers. And this is why you don't want to add your eggs in. So you want to give a taste test, see where your seasonings are, if you need to season more, and then you know if you're in the game or not. So here we go. And that's good right there. Do. Lastly, we want to add our eggs into this mix. All right, that looks good right there. And now officially you got some absolutely delicious sweet potato pie filling. All right, so now we got our pie crust and for the sake of time, we just went with, you know, the store brand pie crust. What we want to do is take a fork and then we just want to poke some holes in this pie crust. And this is going to give you a crispy pie crust, just almost like you do on pizza. And by the way, fam, I'm going to have an absolutely delicious pizza recipe coming up. So, fam, we got those crusts ready to go. Put those in the oven about 10 minutes on 400 degrees so it can get just like a slight, lightly brown color. We don't want to overdo it. Now we're going to put this filling into this pie. So, we got this absolutely delicious filling right there. And then we're going to fill this pie. Now, this can be like, you know, one deep dish sweet potato pie. Well, I licked it to go with two of the regular pies, right? Now, fam, we got these pies all filled. They're ready to go. We're going to put these in the oven 350 degrees. We're going to let these things, you know, get golden brown, a golden brown crust. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to top both of them. I got two different toppings that I'm going to do. I'm going to do one with marshmallows, and then the other one, we're going to do like a little screwsel with pecans, a little light brown sugar, and some butter. In the last stages of it, then we're going to add our toppings and we're gonna go from there. Now, fam, it's time to make this absolutely simple but delicious topping. So this is a pecan screwsel topping. So we're gonna go ahead and go down. So this is what we got here. We got, you know, about five tablespoons of melted butter, five tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour, and we got a cup of pecans here, and then a half cup of light brown sugar. So we're gonna take these pecans, and then we're just gonna put them in that flour, get them tossed around. We're gonna add that brown sugar into the mix, and we just wanna toss these around together before we add that butter. We're gonna lightly drizzle this butter in a little bit at a time, and then this is gonna start clumping up on you, which that's what you want. This is gonna make you an absolutely delicious top. All right, now this is the consistency that you're looking for right here. You can see right there that brown sugar and then that flour. So now this is gonna be absolutely delicious. So we're gonna put this on the top of that sweet potato pie and then we're gonna put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. And then about five minutes, we're gonna put these marshmallows on the oven and then we're gonna let that roll out. Now we got this pie out and it's been cooking and you can see it's looking absolutely delicious. So we just gonna kind of drizzle this over as neatly as we can. And it's not gonna be perfect, which we're not looking for perfection. We just looking for something absolutely delicious. All right, now that right there is gonna be absolutely amazing. So we're gonna put this back in the oven 15 more minutes. And then, like I said, when we're about in the home stretch, five minutes ago, we're going to put the marshmallows on the other one, and then we're going to put it on broil. We're going to let those marshmallows get all nice and toasty, and we in the game. All right, fam, so we let those pies go for 25 minutes. I know originally I said 15, but sometimes you got to be patient. Here we are. This is how we're coming. So we got like a little light brown texture on these crusts here. That's perfect. And then as you can see, they still hot, but you should have like just a slight jiggle and you know you're in the game. We're gonna put these marshmallows on top. And this is gonna be perfect. They just get a little crispy and then 
properly in the game. All right, fam. Happens very quickly. Now we got these pies out of the oven. Now, here we go. So we got like a nice little light toast on this crust. And then as you see here, you're going to have some that are toasted. Then you're going to have some that are lightly toasted. Some people like their marshmallows a little bit on the toasty side. Some people like them a little bit on the light side. So this is going to be perfect. We're going to let these set. All right, fam. So we let those pies set. Please, please, please let your pies set. And so you're not cutting into an unset pie. And then it's falling apart on you. Now we had to be ultra creative for that thumbnail. So it looks absolutely amazing. And I'm going to take you down to it. So, you know, we kind of... You know, got both pies here. You got your marshmallow, and then you got your streusel potato, sweet potato pie. And then what we did was we took, you know, half and half and put it all together right there. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. So you already know what we got to do. We got to give them a taste test. So the first pie that we're going to get is this marshmallow pie right here. And we're going to take a look. All right. Do that right there. Marshmallow is still nice, creamy. Let's get a little piece of that. Bring it up, and there you go. Cheers. Mm. Now, that's amazing, fam. And you know what I gotta do? I gotta get some of those whipped cream right here with those marshmallows. You are in the game. Mm. That's delicious, man. Now that's absolutely fantastic. Pecan. Strusel sweet potato pie, and I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that whipped cream and then take a slice of that. Look at that right there. Cheers! Mm. Now, that's amazing. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. If you're new to this channel and you like this content, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. And then bring along a couple friends. And I know you guys who've been rolling with me for a while. Hey, I appreciate y'all. And until the next recipe, we'll see you guys later. Because I got to roll out. Peace.